You know, there comes at a point in time where I usually do this occasionally, and that's WWE house show, WWE full results, type things like that. And I rarely do these, like I just said, on occasion. So, I might as well do these, because usually I haven't uh, been uploading to YouTube in the past couple of days due to school and everything else. And, you know, even though I'm 17, I still follow wrestling news and everything else, and I still make videos. Well, there comes time where I need to do my homework, and I need to do all this jazz. And I just wanted to upload the WWE Live results from Dublin, Ireland, which happened last night. Uh, we had uh, the same old CM Punk versus Ryback and titles all changed. And after a while, I think that gets a little boring. Boring, and uh, you know it does get really boring. Um, it does get boring after a while, and I'm already sick of this feud, and it are and it just started. Um, leave a comment below on the whole Ryback feud. I made a video on Ryback versus Brad Maddox thing. If you guys want to go check that out, you can. Um, just search through my channel. I don't feel like doing all those things. But uh, let's get it in the full live uh, Raw results. House show results, I should say. From Dublin, Ireland, 11-8-2012. Thanks to Wrestling Inc. for covering this for me. WWE News able to bring you full results. The arena was nearly full for with Dublin Island. Vicky Guerrero opens up the show and gets massive heat and tells the crowd to vote for whether AJ should compete in the Triple Threat Divas title match later tonight. Really? Really. You have to put, well, of course, AJ Lee's not the general manager anymore. The first match was a huge squash match between Brodus Clay and Primo with Rosa Mendez. It was a slow-paced match as Brodus Clay got the win by pinfall. And it was just kind of, I know I watch the, in case you don't know, I do watch these, uh, watch the house shows on uh, WWE, WWE.com. They put up some clips. And same with Wrestling Inc. And I usually watch from YouTube the Fan Experience uh, channel. Um, what fan experience does is he puts all these different, uh, he gets them from different websites and puts them on, so it's kind of basically a whole different thing. Well, up next we have the upper hand, Zack Ryder taking on Epico as Rosa Mendez again comes out to ringside. Ryder did get the upper hand in this match in the beginning, but then got attacked from Brodus Clay, from, uh, then got attacked uh, behind, not by Brodus Clay. Then Brodus Clay ran out and made the save. Then Ryder got on the mic and asked for a tag team match, which was made by Vicky Guerrero. There was back and forth action as Zack Ryder got the win with the Rough Ryder. Nothing special here except uh, the whole attack thing here. You know, it's just two matches trying to get the crowd warmed up, and usually the crowds are pretty good. And uh, I'm going to upload another video on WWE to England and... You know, we did have a taped Raw. I think we're going to have another taped Raw next week. Because I think... Or they might be leaving. I don't know. Oh, uh, we had a nice... Uh, backstage promo from Dolph Ziggler hyping his match with uh, John Cena later tonight. And then the Divas title match was up next. Our third match of the night. Which was revealed that AJ was able to qualify for the match. AJ Lee... And Layla teamed up against Eve Torres to start. Eve hit a neckbreaker, but the pin was broken up by AJ after she pulled the referee out. AJ pinned the Eve, and AJ then pinned Eve to become the new Divas champion. Vicky Guerrero interrupts her celebration, and she says she cannot put the can she cannot put her hands on the referee. The match restarts as Eve got a sneak attack behind for the win and I didn't really see anything special with this matchup it was just basically a full huge things and it was just kind of eh type of thing and it was just weird 
and you know, it got a little bit of excitement with Vicky Guerrero coming out, but nothing special. Next up, we had a backstage segment with Team Hell No arguing over the tag team titles, and then up comes the match. Dolph Ziggler comes out along ringside by the interim Raw General Manager, Vicky Guerrero. John Cena then makes his entrance and gets a huge pop with Let's Go Cena, Cena sucks, or Let's Go Ziggler, Ziggler sucks, Chench kicked off, kicked off the night. This was definitely from people and from my perspective while watching it on WWE.com and on YouTube.com and other wrestling sites that this definitely was the match of the night. It was an excellent match, which we saw Cena doing a Frankenstein and then bowling. This match had everything including Ziggler kicking out of the attitude adjustment, um, tuning up the band for a super kick, of course, if you live, have run, ran, have you, if you've been living under a rock, um, Dolph Ziggler, or excuse me, Shawn Michaels, uh, did train Dolph Ziggler. Vicky Guerrero was removed from ringside after distracting John, uh, Bacchasina, and the end, the end of the match came with the referee being knocked out and Vicky Guerrero returned to ringside with the money in the bank briefcase. By her blunt, hiding Cena, hiding Cena, and hiding her face and Cena's crotch. Holy shit. Wow. Then she ran out of the ring, attempting to remove the taste from her mouth. <laughs> Ziggler got to his feet only for AJ to strike him with the briefcase. As Cena hit him with an AA for the win. You know, pretty pretty good. I mean, I can see this happening. Um, you know, I thought that, I thought the match had a little bit of funny. I had a little chuckle in uh, the review. And, uh, you know what? Uh, it was a pretty good match overall. And uh, let's get into the second part of the show. And after the intermission, or I always say the second part of the show, Road Scholars made their way to the ring for the next match. And then Daniel Bryan came out, and he had a sea of yes, no, yes, no chance. And then Kane also got a decent pop. During the match, Team Hell No attempted to hug it out, but was attempted by Road Scholars, who mocked them by hugging each other. A basic tag team match ended with Kane chokeslamming Rhodes, and Brian tagging himself to the mat to pin uh, Rhodes, but Kane breaks it up. But then they argue when Sandow attacks him from behind. Kane throws Sandow over the top rope. Brian throws Kane out of the ring. Brian submits. Then Brian submits to Rhodes with the no walk. Brian celebrated both with the tag team titles, and then Kane grabbed both and received and 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 received to give Brian one of the titles. Brian pretended to be a bull and attempt to get his title back. Eventually, the two hugged it out, and Kane returns with the title. Brian steals Kane's title and then runs away, celebrating. It was a, in my opinion, it was a very good segment. <laughs> um, I didn't really see anything special about this whole situation. Um, I just saw. A whole bunch of things and everything and it was just kind of funny in my opinion so uh yeah so it was pretty cool overall I mean you know pretty good but uh, up next was the huge huge basically the huge biggest match of the night Michael McGillicuddy versus Tensai Wow this was amazing! What a great match! Tensai dominated most of the match as Michael McGillicuddy um, uh, kicking out of his finisher, Michael McGillicuddy came with the win. For those of you who are like, wow, you thought that was the best match? I was freaking joking. Get over the fact that it. it's a freaking filler and a freaking jobber match. Up next, we had the WWE Champion, the best in the world, with Paul Heyman. Versus Ryback. And we had a very huge. A city so rich. 
passion entrenched in pro wrestling history. What about it, Philadelphia? EC Dump! EC Dump! EC In a personal aside, this really trips me out because... And that basically is what we had. We had ECW chance. The whole match, the whole match. And oh, uh, when Ryback made his way to the ring, Ryback enters with Feed Me More chance, but then the Feed Me More chance breakout as we go back to the ECW. Ryback cuts a, excuse me, Punk cuts a short promo about his respect after being slammed by Ryback. Ryback dominates most of the starting of the match, but Punk gains control out of the distraction by Mr. Paul Heyman. Shouting, get out now. Primo, Epico, Tensai, Rhodes Scholars to the ring and attack Ryback, forcing the match to end with DQ. And then we had Kane clearing house, and he and Ryback clear house. Ryback then gives a shell shock to Punk, and Ryback marched around the ring with the most amazing chance I've heard in a while. Me more. That was your full raw results from Dublin, Ireland, 11-8 2012. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe so I can feed you more wrestling news and other news of wrestling.